Hello, my name is Nathaniel Dodson and I run the Covenanter monthly pamphlet program over at covenanter.org slash pamphlets. You can head over there and subscribe for $10 a month and get your very own pamphlet delivered to your doorstep each month, or you can purchase any of the older pamphlets for $12 each. This month, August of 2014, we have The Social Position of Reformed Presbyterians or Cameroonians by William Somerville. Now to give you an idea of what is within this book, I will read a short excerpt from the back of the book. In a day when many are at ease in Zion, this small book will present a challenge. Covenanter minister William Somerville traces the lines of historical covenanters and shows that many who may claim to be faithful to covenanter principles are not standing in their line. The 19th century saw many branches of Presbyterianism making claims to be descendants of the Cameroonians or covenanters. In fact, many tried to make the case that they had adopted the testimony of those covenanter martyrs, including Richard Cameron and James Rennick. After the disruption in 1843, there were many free church ministers seeking to lay claim to this heritage. However, as Somerville points out, principles without practice is like faith without works, dead. The best of those other Presbyterians in his day belonged to bodies that were not holding to the faith as historically defined by the Covenanters. They wanted the glory without the sacrifice that characterized those principles they claimed to uphold. They were members of bodies of corrupt constitution and holding principles and practices contrary to those of the historical Covenanters. Somerville adds a short vindication of the principles of close communion as the practice which is necessary to preserve the identity of the Covenanter Church. His arguments against the false charity and toleration of those who practice and demand open communion are still quite applicable. This edition of The Social Position of Cameroonians has added to it an article written by David Steele on historical testimony. In it, Steele helps the reader to understand the burden of Somerville's plea in his work. The Reformed Church is necessarily an historical church. Its history informs her descendants of the just application of those principles as held by faithful forebearers. As the Reformed Presbyterian Church has discovered throughout her history, only historical testimony can prevent new light from gaining ground and subverting old principles and practice. Had the so-called old lights returned to this principle after the exodus of the new lights in 1833, she would have secured her constitution against the erosion she has experienced since then. Conservative covenanters need to heed the call and return to historical principles wed to historic practice. So that is it. William Somerville's The Social Position of Reformed Presbyterians or Cameroonians. You can pick up a copy for yourself at covenanter.org pamphlets or subscribe for $10 a month. Thank you very much.